TT's Auto Spreader is the industry standard spread trading interface, providing unmatched speed and flexibility. You can differentiate your spread trading by using Auto Spreader rules to customize the logic of Auto Spreader. Auto Spreader rules allows you to customize three crucial areas of spreading logic the quoting logic, the hedging logic, and finally the management of hedge orders that do not immediately fill. You can create your own custom rules or use one of the many rules provided by TT. In this video, we will demonstrate how to apply auto spreader rules to an existing spread definition for each of the three areas of logic. Here we have a CL calendar spread. The default behavior for auto spreader is to requote each leg of the spread anytime the lean price changes. This could be costly as many of the exchanges impose penalties if you exceed their quoting policies. If your spread price is significantly away from the market, requoting with every price change may not be desired. Let's add a rule to our spread definition to modify the quoting behavior. To add a rule, click the plus button in the rules field. Then, let's add inside smart quote, which is a pre-quote rule provided by TT that prevents a requote if the requote price is beyond a specified distance of the inside market. As you can see, we now have a row for our rule with checkboxes to identify the legs to which we would like this rule to apply. We can see the parameters of our rule by clicking the plus sign at the front of the row and expanding the child rows. We will set a distance of three ticks from the inside market as the range in which our adjusted quoting order must land before auto spreader will replace the quoting order. For more information about any rule we select, we can click the drop down arrow after the name of the rule and select Edit. In the Rule Editor window, we see the title of the rule and a brief description of the behavior to be applied. We can also see whether this is a quoting rule, pre hedge rule, or post hedge rule. In the tabs below is the formula which defines the logic of the rule, as well as any variables used. Let's save our spread and re enter our order. Whereas before, Auto Spreader re quoted each leg of the spread anytime the lean price changed, now our quote only changes when our working order's quote price is less than the calculated quote price, and if this new quote price falls within three ticks of the inside market. Let's now take a look at how we can customize our hedging logic. Whenever a quoting order gets filled, Auto Spreader normally sends a hedge order in the hedge leg of the spread at the price against which the quoting order was leaning. It sends the hedge order at this price regardless of how large the bid or offer quantity is at that price. Auto Spreader rules allows you to modify the price of a hedge order based on the liquidity in the market. TT provides a canned auto spreader rule called a liquidity based backoff tick that lets you specify a threshold. Let's add this rule, specify a threshold of 250, and apply the rule to both legs of the spread. If the lean quantity exceeds that threshold when auto spreader is ready to send a hedge order, this rule instructs auto spreader to send the order at a price one tick better than the calculated price. If our hedge rule backs our order off a tick, it is likely that the hedge order will not fill immediately. Let's add a post hedge rule to manage our unfilled hedge order. We will add the TT liquidity based pay up tick post hedge behavior to pay up one tick when the quantity of the inside market opposite our order drops below our specified threshold of 250. Once complete, we click apply and then save. We can now launch our spread from the auto spreader widget. We're going to buy the spread at 0.01. After the quoting order in leg A fills at negative 0.64, but before the hedge order is sent, Auto Spreader evaluates the liquidity based backoff tick rule. Since the bid quantity at our lean price of negative 0.65 is above our threshold of 250, the sell hedge order is sent with a price of negative 0.64, or one tick away from the calculated lean price. With our hedge order now in the market, the liquidity based pay up tick rule determines whether or not to pay up one tick by monitoring the liquidity at the lean price of negative 0.65 to see if it drops below 250. The market trades at negative 0.64 before our rule needs to pay up a tick. As a result of having backed off one tick, we achieve a better spread price than our target of 0.01. As you can see, Auto Spreader Rules provides the ability to further customize and enhance your spread trade execution. For more information on Auto Spreader Rules, visit our website at tradingtechnologies.com.